Uh, Doombringer inner radius increased from 0 0.5 to 0 0.1. Or decreased, rather. I was going to say, that does not make sense. Um, Alright, so I guess they're more nimble. Yeah. A little bit uh, easier to control. I don't like the name White Health at all. No, White Health is a stupid name. There's static in my audio? Is there really? Oh no. Don't tell me there's static in my audio, bro. Is there static in my mic? Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Tiny little bit, yeah, at the, at the end of it. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. I think there's something wrong with my audio interface. Although I'm not exactly sure. Because I, I had it too when I had another microphone plugged in. Hmm. It's like feedback from having a connector not plugged in all the way. Am I gonna touch my connectors while streaming? This is a great plan. Could be the cable. Hello, hello. Test, test, test. Is this better? I don't know. I'm just gonna not touch it, guys. Unless it's really annoying, it's still there. It's still popping? All right, I'm gonna test it one more time. All right, I'm gonna test it one more time. All right, I'm gonna test it one more time. All right, I'm gonna test it one more time. Is this, yeah, is this interference with like one of my other devices? What if I turn off the lights? These use Wi-Fi. These use Wi-Fi. Test, test, test. Wi-Fi. Test, test, test. Wi-Fi. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Still there. I don't know, guys. Um. I think it's a constant ticking in the background. Um, but since I have a noise gate on, it probably only triggers for like a half second after I talk. And then it disappears. It probably like tapers off. Um, I can try and turn it off and see if that's the problem. Uh, 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 okay. Noise gate is now off. Does this mean you guys hear a constant tick in the background? Tick in the background? Tick in the background? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. I don't think it's a big deal. You know what I can do? I can play... Um, here. I can play Stormgate music in the background. Now you just won't hear it. Yeah, it's it's very low. It's very low, you can probably only hear it when you put up the microphone, or sorry, like headphones and then max volume. Because I can imagine a lot of speakers and a lot of headphones and whatnot are also filtering it out by default. I don't think you can notice it now, can you? With background music? I don't think so. Look how I hear nothing at all. No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad people told me though. I had to mute the game I was playing to hear it. All right. What's up, Ramble? What's up, Leifrinus? Okay. The Shadow Flyer now does 125 damage to its primary target, a 50 damage in the area of three, down from 125 in the entire area. Okay, so the air banelings are not as strong. Lash cooldown increased from 12 to 16. Lash damage changed from 60 to 20%. Consume cooldown increased. All right. Bow 
What could be, um, so for those of you that know stuff about audio, what could be the problem? But like, how do I troubleshoot audio problems? What's the, what's the build order? <laughs> do I, uh, change out a cable first? Give that a try? Use a different input? Like, what do I... Are you ghosting power? What does that mean? Am I ghosting power? Not the biggest crack. It sounds fine like a default cable. Okay. If you have a mic that requires a certain degree, or if you use power transformers, some mics need it. No, I, I use an audio interface that does not need any additional power. I have a Rodecaster Pro 2. That's what it's called, yes. But I kind of feel like I had this issue when I first got the device. And then I turned on the noise gate, and that kind of solved it, but it didn't really solve it. What's going on, Futbucker? 1969. Very nice. Check the USB cable for audio interference. I can have a look. Hold up. Everything's plugged in, man. It could be the wacko contact. Uh, what is that in English? Shaky contact? Oh, alright. In what metric do we weight content creators? Instagrams. Hey. Thank you very much, Bally. Hope you're doing alright. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Yeah, I don't know. Um... I have a lot of electronic devices. It does kind of sound like a little bit of feedback somehow, or a little bit of static noise from some sort of device. So I guess my best strategy would be to unplug everything and only run with the bare minimum, but that would require a lot of effort, and I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> um, yeah, but even after stream, do I really want to go through three hours of troubleshooting whilst swearing the entire time? I don't know, man. <sighs> you think I do want to do that? Hmm. We'll see. I hear nothing, Loco. Alright. I'm just gonna assume everything is okay. It's a good plan. So do you guys hear anything weird right now? Do you hear any clicking in my microphone? Or is it okay like this? You just hear somebody with a Dutch accent? All right. It's gone now? Wait, really? Okay, I'm gonna mute the in-game. All right, hold up. What about now? I turned off the background music. What? Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Whoa! What did I do? I gently touched all of my USB connections at the back of my computer. I gently caressed them with my fingertips. I mean, it is Valentine's Day after all. <sighs> yeah, I've got the touch, man. All right, there you go, guys. If anybody needs any IT solutions, I'm happy to come over and gently caress your USB connectors. You don't know yet about my hourly rates, but we will decide that afterwards, okay? Yeah, the USB connections need love too, man. Loco coming over for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of troubleshoot and chill. Do I take payment in exposure? Absolutely. 
Look at where it's your... F Wait, I promised you flowers? Hold up right now. I do spend a lot more time with my computer than I do with my girlfriend. Absolutely, yes. You guys seem to be judging me right now. We're up against somebody who is playing with the Vanguard guys, and we can even see what they're playing. What a day. Hey, we have a new map. It's not the real loco. Okay. Uh, so this is a conclave. I built a vault over here. We require more minerals. Not enough luminites. Did you miss the painting stream? Oh, I didn't talk about Warhammer painting Not yet. I'll talk about luminites. this in a moment if you guys are interested. This guy's Dutch. And apparently he bought my voice back in SC2. What a day. You guys may pock champ. It is allowed. I'm gonna set up some camera location hotkeys. Is this the good map, by the way? Is that the map people like? Oh, I think I actually messed this up. No, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Um, we make this guy? Yeah. No, I think we go straight for this camp, right? The speed camp? Isn't the speed camp the OP camp that we want to get on this map? I think so. Um, I have seen about two games of Stormgate, give or take. Um, okay, so I think what I do... And then we hit... Yeah, yeah. Just like this. This guy's going full tryhard on me. I don't like this. No! Oh my lord. He didn't even... Okay. I gotta respect the dogs is what I'm learning here, chat. I lost a gun to a dog. That's not great. I'm no expert, but I don't think that's optimal. Okay. I didn't realize that they would be able to, to be honest. Okay. I'm still learning hotkeys and everything too, which is not as easy as it looks. These guys are super fast now. Okay, Bambi still has a rocket launcher. He had it in the old patch. Has it in the new patch. I think I actually should not be going for the health camp. Instead, I should be going the other way around. Okay. This guy seems to know what he's doing, though, which is a bit scary. Because he bought the Loco announcer pack, he immediately is way better at the game, you know? I don't make the rules, chat. That's just how it goes. If you buy the Loco announcer pack in SC2, instant god gamer. I'm not very good at making my, um... Is this a... Looks like a Dota board. I have no idea what he's doing. He's not taking any of these camps. Maybe this guy is not a god gamer. Either that or I am not a god gamer, but I don't like that idea, so. Hello, sir. Sir, excuse me. Sir? Can I maybe like... If I force it? 
Is that good? I think that's pretty good. I think, yeah, forcing to Sunder Soul right there was a good plan. Okay. Um, I'm going up in the meantime towards a... Oh, I already have the Greater Shrine, or whatever it's called. I think I built the... Shadow Cleft, yes. Okay, I was a little slow here with my push now. I think I have to wait. I, I, I don't know. I always fail whenever I try to push into these bases and it never works out in my favor, so I think instead I'm just gonna try and take some of his camps. We'll go after the uh, Bambi camp over here too. Um, and we need to send some dudes over here too. So I can make Myrmidons. I love Myrmidons! Uh, you guys stay over here, or at least one of you guys stays over here. We'll go after the camp over there. This one's still respawning. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I made these guys. I shouldn't have made those. Did I make the right structure? Shadow Cliff? I hope so. I hope I did make the right structure. I'm gonna send a couple of you guys around again. Got a vision over here of this base. re hot -keying a few. And I guess we can continue... Oh, he's got a little adventure over here in the middle of the map. Okay. Yeah, here's my Myrmidon. Ah, oh, snap. Did I really just hit a supply block at this point? Sick, loco. So I have a whole load of gas right now, but I guess I'll, I'll use the Hellspawn Resurgence here in a moment. Uh, so I want to make Myrmidons, because they're sick. Are there upgrades here? Yes, I should get that upgrade too. Okay. And we'll head on over to that camp now, that's now level 3. Myrmidons, Myrmidons. Does whatever... No, actually I'm gonna go and attack. Can he swing? From a web. Myrmidon, Myrmidon, look up. What do I do against these guys? When he's just kiting me like that. I should not have used them in the way that I did. He's very fast. I need to get that upgrade too. Yeah, I don't think I can win the game without Myrmid or Macmadons, Myrmidons, whatever they're called. I think I'm screwed, right? Those units hit very hard. I think I'm dead, right? Yeah, those units really do hit hard. I don't seem to be able to catch them very easily. I don't know what I do in order to try and catch them. Uh... Oh, no. Try to cancel it. What? Did they reset my hotkeys again? Oh, no. Uh, the hotkeys are... Not what they used to be. I changed a few of my hotkeys around. Not even that many. Um... Where is it? It was main menu or whatever. 
What has been working for you has been constantly expanding and having three Hellborn plus Shroud Stones for defense. Hmm. I'm looking for the... Um Ah, there it is. This one is F10. And then cancel. Command cancel is escape. Yeah, there we go. Did he, by the way, not do anything this game? Did he just sit in his base and just wait? I'm not exactly sure. Let's have a look. So he harassed me with a dog. And I think he just kind of sat there for a bit. But maybe that's just the nature of this matchup. Where they just kind of sit there. Yeah, so I thought he was just chilling at home. Turns out he was chilling at home for a long while. I thought I was in a really good spot here when I caught his units for free. Could I have gone and won the game at this point? I find these towers to be very strong, but I don't really know. Should I just have attacked at this point? I think, I think the bustle will destroy me, no? Yeah, I decided to back off, but... The play is probably to have two bases and have some Hellborn. What, what do I do in order to prevent him from kiting me backwards like that? You think the Hellborn are a good idea to prevent him kiting? Yeah, are the Hellborn good anti-kiters? Because I grabbed basically every camp on the map. Weavers for tanking afterwards? Mm, okay. The Hellborn's super slow. Yeah, they have six legs, but they only use about two of them. How long, by the way, do these bases last for? Like, is there a certain point in the game where this base is not gonna be mining anymore? Like, say it's like 10 minutes in game, that base just runs out? Like, what? what at what rough timing do you guys find that these bases run out? Because I, I see them running out, but I never really notice. 12 minutes or so? Okay. Bally thinks it's about five minutes? Okay, Bally. Drops are super strong for Infernal. Mm, okay. Yeah, but I need to be able to deal with his main army first. You were gonna make a 2 to 5 joke? Ah. <clears throat> Another Vanguard. If you send him too early, it's actually not very good. I should have let him do a trip. Because now I'm too quick, man. I'm too good, guys. It's a real, it's a real problem. No, um, just takes a while. What's going on, Ilu? Hello. What's up, linebacker? So, I can have workers up until 11, right? And then I make a farm. Yes, I make, yeah. So, my, my dudes combined cost me 1 plus 3 supplies, so that would put me at 15 out of 15. Oh, I also need to send a guy over here. I should have sent two guys now, I guess. Uh, this is already kind of scuffed. I should have sent these dudes a little earlier. I wasn't really thinking about that. Thank you very much, Satan's Burrito, for the Prime subscription. Strange name, but we'll allow it. Okay, so we go straight for the speed camp. Gonna send you back. Make one of those. Okay. 
And we get into worker production. I wasn't quite on top of my worker production in that previous game at all. I think I'm gonna prioritize workers a lot more. Hello. I'm gonna try and at least stay on top of it a bit more. Out of my way. Out of my way. What are these plants? I don't know what these plants do. They look like they're gonna give my opponent vision, but I don't know if they do. Figuring out what order to roam the map in is actually really enjoyable. Okay, fine. I don't think we want to fight here. We require more minerals. More minerals are required. Not enough luminite. We're gonna fuck up, Bambi. Bambi. Okay. I find these health bars a bit tricky to see. Oh, they definitely do heal a lot faster now. Need more luminite. That is kind of nice. I would very much so like to go into a greater shrine here at some point. But maybe not until a little later. I don't really know exactly what my preferred order of things is here. Can I have you guys returning? Yeah. Returning resources button is C, apparently. Okay. These guys are not messing around, man. These little infernal guys. He did grab the speed camp. Did I pick up that resource camp on my side? No. Oh, I did, actually. Or maybe he did. I don't remember going there. But maybe I did. Uh, let's make one of those. He is out here somewhere. I saw him moving. Hey guys. Oh, I have some imps in my army. That's a bit BM. Loco? Guys, I don't want to flex or anything, but I am the Loco. Nice getting worked by you. <laughs> hey! Just like back in college, huh? Wait, no, no. I am still an ass three player. Very nice. Not just your old run of the mill Loco. No, 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 no. The Loco, all right? Entirely different game. <sighs> Thank you, Satan's Burrito and Plunderer for the subs during that game. Not the, we have Loco at home Loco. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Guys, you want to see the very first Warhammer model that I've ever painted in my life? So, 
I talked about this a little at the end of yesterday's stream. I uh, I always hear nerds talking about painting Warhammer models. So I got one of those little starter sets that has just five base paints and none of the fancy stuff. Yeah, it's it's not very good, but I tried. I tried. Hold on. You just bought a new set of figures? It's a bit messy. It's not great. But I think it turned out all right. It's just a bit plain, you know? It's just a bit... I don't know. Is it gonna focus? There you go. It's a little smudged on the head, but... It could have been... Yeah, it could have been worse. I was actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I figured it was gonna be really messy. <sighs> That's the best painted Warhammer figure you've ever seen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many have you seen, Ramble? I need metal colors? Yeah, I do. So they only give you like these, um, the, the, the default starter thing only has like five base paints. So none of like the metallic ones or any of the shades or any of the contrast colors, none of that. So it's just like five basic colors, which is a bit, um, yeah, so I was already looking at the website and I was almost buying new paints already. This is dangerous, guys. <laughs> I was like, ooh, you know what I need? It's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. No, I had a good time, it was fun. Yeah. I paint those models for a living, Loco? What, you do? You paint models like that for a living, Dialan? You're gonna have to share us some of your models that you made, dude. This is definitely a rabbit hole. Absolutely, yes. You also paint models? All right. <sighs> Loco in two weeks? <laughs> that is a lot. That is a lot. That still looks a bit messy though, no? Considering the amount of stuff that this guy has. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this was a good time though. I kind of enjoyed that it doesn't take up a lot of space, you know? Like I've, I've done some painting in the past, but you always have to like, especially like oil painting and stuff when I was younger, it was a lot of fun, but it smells like crazy. It takes ages to dry and you kind of have to like, you have to set up for like an afternoon of painting, you know what I mean? It seems with the Warhammer stuff, you can just paint for like an hour and then call it a day, which is kind of chill. Um, seems like a, a thing I would enjoy quite a bit, but. <sighs> You're also from the Netherlands? Oh god. Oh god, Dialan. I may overload you with questions at some point. Yeah, but the thing about these like Warhammer paints is that they like they take like I don't know, 2 minutes to dry. They're very quick. To me it's like meditation to just paint and not think about stuff. Hmm. Anyways, I was having a pretty good time. What's going on, Tim? Thank you very much for the 25 months. Like, oh, the orcs are easier for starters? So I was looking at the different things that they sell, right? The orcs are pretty cool. What about the aurochs? Are they much different? I don't really know anything about Warhammer lore. But the orcs look pretty cool. But I think I like the models they sell for the aurochs a little bit better. They seemed really good. The orc boys? Yeah, they had like... Interesting spelling. I don't know what to focus on, man. That's kind of the thing. You even get high level competitions? No, I don't know. I'm not going to go that far down the, the rabbit hole, man. It seems like most people, though, that paint these models also play the game or something. I don't really care about the game, if I'm being honest. I just kind of wanted to paint some models, but it seems like 99% of Google results are about people that actually play the game. Um, most of them read the books. I should read the books. I like reading. Are the books actually good though? You paint, you don't play. So for those of you that do paint, right? What army, and this, I know this is a controversial situation or subject to discuss, but what army do you think would be good for a noob to paint? I guess the right answer is whatever you find cool looking. 
But there's got to be a certain level of gradation, right? Yeah, I don't find the Space Marines particularly exciting. But yeah, they do seem to be relatively easy. They just have a lot of empty space. I find the Orcs a lot more interesting, but... The Chaos Marines? Chaos Marines look sick. The Orcs are fun, lots of variety. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't like those... So they sell those sets of figures where, like... 9 out of 10 kind of look the same. I would kind of like to have something where every model looks a little different, I guess. But I'm not exactly sure. I don't need like 17 of the same looking warrior grunt type of character, you know? If anybody has any suggestions, I'm definitely interested. The Imperials? Paint Eyes the D minis then. Thank you very much. If you're looking for unit variety, try out or look at the Imperials. Dude, so I was on this website, but I don't ever really know where to go. Because, like, you have to shop by Alliance? I have no idea what Alliance anything is. Tyranids are Zerg? Yeah, I noticed set that, that I got, got like, uh, a bunch of Tyranids in it. A 3D printer? Is the printer the OP strategy? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. I do like the way the Tyranids look. Yeah, they look very cool. So there's Warhammer 40k, and then there is Age of Sigmar. I don't quite understand what the difference is. I think they're like slightly different universes. What do you guys like better? What, what do most people that care about this stuff paint? Warhammer 40k or Age of Sigmar? 40k is, uh, is sci-fi? Age of Sigmar is more fantasy? Okay. 40k is way more popular. 40k is futuristic, Sigmar is medieval fantasy? Okay. I mean... Where's the orcs? The orcs look pretty sick. There they are. So, like, look, this is what I mean, right? Where you have, like, these guys that, like, all look basically very similar. I don't really care about painting 80% of the same thing seven times, you know? But it's a bit tricky to decide what you should get. Like, it's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. Dude, these look fucking cool, though. Yeah, I could go to a physical store. Actually, there's a physical store in Amersfoort, which is the city I live in. Um, it's just that I have to go to the city center, but I, uh, I haven't, I haven't yet. People always told me though that this stuff is stupid expensive to get into, but it doesn't really seem that bad. Am I mistaken? Like these, these look pretty cool. I mean, this, this would take a lot of hours for me to do. Obviously, you'd have to get the paints as well. But it doesn't, like, pe people make it sound, okay? A lot of people make it sound like you need, like, like a, a thousand euro investments to do anything. But that's not really... It gets very expensive. Hmm. I guess maybe it adds up over time, huh? You know what the real bait is, though? Because all of these things, you're like, ooh, I just need one additional paint, right? And then you end up buying an extra one, and then it adds up over time. That's probably how it goes, right? Yeah. With tools, paint, work table, etc. Right. Maybe I'm just rich. Super rich, bro. No, this looks cool. I like I like the look of these guys a lot better than like Next thing we know, Loco is going to build a room for painting. I don't have the room, dude. I don't have the space. <sighs> I guess if you have to move to get more space to do painting, then it's really expensive. Yeah, I did not consider moving in the equation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Influencer doesn't understand why other people have money problems. <laughs> I didn't mean to come off like that, chat. I think I worded it nicely. No, it's just that over the years, people have always said, Oh my god, Warhammer, most expensive hobby out there. It feels like if you spent like 100 euro, you can go a really long way though. Am I mistaken? I don't know. Hollywood Loco, edit again. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this is something else entirely. I think your tank's on fire, bro. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I am. Look how I read online that your net worth is $69 million. <sighs> I don't know, man. 69 million seems like a lot, no? I did look at some of the bigger models, though, that they sell. Some of them, very expensive. Yes. I'm not sponsored by Gamer Workshop, but I, I have done a few sponsored streams for Warhammer games before. That was actually a lot of fun. And they sent me, like, a little goodie bag at some point. And I, I remember thinking, ooh, maybe this is Warhammer models that I could paint. And they, it wasn't. It was other cool stuff, but... Um, <laughs> that probably was a sign that I should have given it a try. Yeah. I know they sell these Lord of the Rings models, which I thought were really sick. Like, this, this, this sort of stuff, I think, is really cool. Probably very difficult to paint, but, like... That looks cool as hell, man. Look at that. You have a Warhammer store in New York City? Yeah, so there happens to be one in Amersfoort, Belly, which is kind of crazy. I walked by it the other day, but I didn't even realize that it, like, I don't know. Yeah. Four models equals a printer. Is that what the real pro gamers do? They, uh... But how do you get the unit models that you print? People sell the files, I guess? Or they, uh... They, uh... They surf the internet? <laughs> 3D printing is also an entirely different thing that I don't know if I want to go down to. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna settle with my couple of tiny little space marines and a few tyranids that came in the box. I didn't even have to glue them together, okay? They just they had those little, little pin thingies and you just pushed them together and that was the trick. <laughs> I, I should start with that, yeah. No, I, I should not start at the deep end of the pool. It's like, Loco, buy a 3D printer, get 120 different bottles of paint, get a permanent setup. <laughs> no, that's a bit much, man. <laughs> Make a room, Loco, yeah. Jeez Louise. Anyways, remember to thin your paints, Loco. What if I like slaughtering it, like just like fucking smudging everything up? Can I do that instead? Gaber's workshop is like 25% of Britain's GDP. Is it really? Remember to huff your paints, Loco? No, no, I don't think we have to do that. Fly in the YouTube chat is saying, Loco is becoming a virgin before our eyes. Absolutely, yes. I'm slowly going down the nerd rabbit hole. You are correct. I only play video games for a living for a short amount of time at this point. That's a pretty nerdy thing, to be honest, playing video games for a living. Um, I think we do Iron Vault over here and then Conclave at the front instead. <laughs> Regressing. <laughs> this is the kind of hobby you start when your girlfriend leaves you? Is that it? I see. 
She seemed quite interested in giving it a try herself as well, guys. Do they have like fairy models or something a little cuter than these Warhammer dudes? <laughs> the sisters of battle? Oh, of course they do. Need more luminite. It's ready. Okay. Now we make one of those. So this guy messed me up earlier, by the way. Like he clearly knew what he was doing. I seemed like a bit of a donkey when I was playing against him. So he ended up killing my gaunt on this section of the map. I should do anime figures? Hmm. Not enough luminite. Okay. So I got messed up by this guy previously, but I didn't really know what I was doing, so I guess it's okay. Oh, I actually killed his dog this time. Okay. Continuing onwards. So this guy basically was just sitting back. He wasn't actually attacking me very much. He was just having a good time turtling up on his bases. Okay. So far, so good. I'm just taking all the resource camps on his side of the map first. I feel like a bit of a jerk doing it, which is excellent. I really want to try and go up towards the greater shrine here. Yeah, you guys go and head on over to that location, and then we'll start rallying that one. And... Okay. I do want to keep an eye out on any future expansions that he may think about taking. I'm gonna leave a few scouter and spotter units out on the map too. Okay. So he's not doing anything. At least I don't have to be scared in this game to suddenly get memed by, I don't know, a bunch of flying units that absolutely tear me apart, you know? Like, no Dark Templar or anything like that, as far as I know. Haven't yet played against Dark Templar. Um... What do I make? Ritual Chamber. It's 150 of the, the, the juice? Ay, ay, ay. It's a lot of juice. Oh, the health camps give me gas? Oh, I didn't know. Bambi gives gas? Sick, dude. Bambi the goat. Oh, yeah. Bambi is a gamer. Not enough luminite. Not enough luminite. Okay, I want to be making Magmadons. 
because magma domes are kind of awesome. I'll prepare a few of these supply structures, and I need to get some upgrades going here pretty soon. My opponent is not doing anything, guys. What, what, what is up with this? Okay, he's just chilling. I don't know if I'm just about to get memed or like how this works, but I guess I'm gonna idle here for a bit because he killed me in the middle of the map not that long ago. I'm gonna make a shroud stone over here to get some more shroud around this part. Did I make the wrong structure? Oh, I did. Sick. Uh, I made the ritual chamber. What I meant to make was the shadow cliff. That's a gamer move and a half right there. So he's got a med tech right now. Not enough luminite. Not enough luminite. Okay, trying to play this a little bit more defensively. No, I don't. I don't like this. This, this like dance back and forth that he keeps doing here. I'm. I'm gonna chill. It doesn't seem to work out well for me. Shadow Cleft, come on, buddy. Hurry up. I guess I'll make another base here for now, then. Shadow Cleft actually takes ages. Okay. I have some Magmadons. I want to get the Soul Forge Ascendants and the Demon Hoof Tremors. We'll get both of those upgrades.